Welcome back. This is Robert Strickland and we are continuing our tutorial on how to design a checkerboard cushion rectangle. So here's the square design that we finished in our previous lesson and uh, I'm going to save my work here. So just click on save as and I'll just call it lesson one here for Typically in designing, I would have already saved it several times, but I've been through this one so many times that uh, I can I can do it with few mistakes. So to scale, turn this square design into a rectangle, I'm going to uh, add, I'm going to split the stone in two down the middle conceptually, uh, and spread the two halves apart and splice in another row of facets at index 96. So the two, to do that, I need to offset the stone and reflect it. To offset the stone, you use Jimcad's center command. Jimcad's center command, um, it's easiest to use it if you, if you know where the new center is going to be and can tell it that ahead of time. So my, the new DOP axis, I want to be halfway between this point and this point on this edge. So I'll click just somewhere on this edge, it's not too important where, and I'll change the fraction of the edge length from what whatever it is, and I'll make that 0 0.5, and click Use to Cut. So I highlighted it with the by dragging on the mouse, and now I typed in 0 0.5, and I'm going to do Use to Cut. So now we have a point in the New Point, New Facet Info Box. This actually is not for a new facet, it's just a saved point for the center command. So edit, center, and we're centering the x-axis, which is left and right in the top view, and we're going to center it about the point one from that we just entered over here, from that point on edge. So I'm going to click OK, and you can see Jimcat is scooched the stone over so it's offset the dot. The dot axis is right here but the stone is off center now. Now we're going to reflect the left half of the stone and throw away the we're going to reflect the right half of the stone and throw away the left half. So edit, reflect, and we're going to reflect the X coordinate. Okay, so now we've done it. So now I've got uh, stretched the, the stone and I need to splice in another row of facets. So where I now have two columns of facets here and here, I want to splice in a third column. So the new facet is going to be two-thirds the width of the, the previous facet. So I need to, let me start in the middle and work out. So I need a point that is a third of the way from here to here. So one third, I'm going to keep a third, throw, I'm going to keep two thirds of the previous one and throw away this third. So click on the edge, change that number to 0 0.3 repeating and click Use to Cut, and then we're going to do the same thing on this edge. Click on the edge, highlight the, click and drag to highlight the fraction of total edge, total edge length, and change that number to 0 0.3 repeating, and click Use to Cut. So now I have two points, each a third of the way along their edge, and I know the index. The index is going to be 96 our symmetry position here and that's going to make so so if I've done my work right I should get a fast a pair of four facets which have an edge that's exactly the right width to make squares so we'll click we'll tab to show you that it's got an angle and we'll click cut facet 
that angle is uh, six degrees and I know from experience that that's rather difficult to cut so I'm going to raise this whole change the whole scale of the of the cut to eight degrees instead how did we get six and six in a fraction well we started off by giving it the angle of this facet right here this is the only f angle we gave it the rest of the angles it figured for us okay so we got the start of our square extra row of facets here and we need to continue that on down so I need the same index as this facet which was the 96 I'll copy it which is slightly easier than typing it in and we want to meet this point used to cut and we need to come down so shift hold down that shift key and move down here and do use to cut and then we'll cut that facet and so now we've got need to do one more crown facet here and the girdle outline so to do the crown facet I'll click on this point use to cut shift hold the shift key down still down I'll click the left mouse button and use to cut and we need that same index of 96 so I'll just copy it from that facet okay that's all the crown facets except for the girdle outline girdle outline will click on this facet use to cut click inside this facet copy its index and we'll go ahead and type in the angle of 90 degrees well let's steal it let's steal this facets girdle this other girdle facets angle so put the cursor just outside the margin of this of the perimeter of the stone click and you'll see I've got a girdle facet I can just copy its angle cut facet and now the girdle outline is complete so now we have finished the crown of the of our checkerboard and we'll save it as lesson two here. Okay, in the in the next lesson, we're going to design an omni uh, pavilion for this design.